In this video, we are going to learn how to copy poses from other images to our Flux image generation using a control net. The control net we are going to use is Flux One Dev Control Net Union Pro. Before we start using the control net, we need to install three custom node packs, which are Comfy UI KJ nodes, Comfy UI Essentials, and Comfy UI Control Net Aux. Three of them can be installed from Comfy UI Manager. And now let's start downloading the control net and place it in the Comfy UI directory. The download link is in the description. So it's a unified control net that has seven control modes. The control mode we are going to use in this video is called Pose. Here we got a lot of information about this control net. Anyway, let's download the control net. Click on Files and Versions. And here you can see a file called Diffusion PyTorch Model Tensors. Download that file. After finishing the download, you can rename it if you don't want any confusion. Because there are a lot of models available online that have similar names. Let's open the Downloads folder and place the control net in Comfy UI. Here you can see I renamed my control net. Let's cut the file and open the Comfy UI portable folder. Again, open the Comfy UI folder, then open the Models folder. After that, find the folder called Control Net. Open that folder and paste the control net. Then launch the Comfy UI. So I already launched my Comfy UI. Let's refresh it by pressing R on our keyboard. Here I am using a basic Flux One Dev workflow. The Flux One Dev I am using is FP8, and the T5 I am using is a FP8 scaled. Let's start adding the control net. Move your cursor to any empty space and double click on your left mouse button. Search for apply control net. Here it is. Let's click on it. Now let's connect the conditioning of the positive prompt to the input positive of apply control net. Then connect the positive out of apply control net to the positive input of K sampler. Now connect the conditioning of the negative prompt to the negative input of apply control net. Then connect the negative output of apply control net to the negative input of K sampler. Now let's add a node for loading the control net. Search for the node called load control net model. Click on it. In the control net net name, select the control net called flux one dev control net union pro SAFA tensors. For selecting the control mode of our control net, we can add another node called set shacker labs union control net type which comes with comfy UIKJ nodes. After adding the set Shacker Labs Union control net type, set the type from auto to pose. Then connect the control net output of load control net model to the control net input of set Shacker Labs Union control net type. Then connect the control net output of set Shacker Labs Union control net type to the control net input of apply control net. Next, we need to add a node for importing images so that we can copy poses from images. So search for the node called load image Click on it. Let's open an image by clicking on Choose File to Upload. Let's select this photo. Click Open. Now we need to add a node for extracting pose from the image. Before that, I'm going to resize this image so that the extracted pose image resolution will be the same as the empty latent image. The resolution I am using for the empty latent image is 1024 for width and 1024 for height. Let's see how we are going to resize the image. Add a node called Image Resize that comes with the Comfy UI Essentials Custom Node Pack. Connect the image output of Load Image to the input of Image Resize. For the width and the height, I will use 700. Change the method from Stretch to Pad as this will ensure our pixels will not get distorted. Let's disable K Sampler. Then let's take a look at how the Image Resize output looks. Click and drag from the Image Output of Image Resize. From the options, select Preview Image. Click the Run button, here we go. As you can see here, the pixels did not get distorted. Also, there are black borders on the left and right of the image. Let's delete this node and add a node for extracting pose from the image. The node I am going to use is DW Pose Estimator. Also, you can use the Open Pose Pose node. However, it is not as perfect as DW Pose Estimator. This node comes with Comfy UI Control Net Aux. Connect the image output of image resize to the input of DW Pose Estimator. Set the resolution from 512 to 1024. To see how the output of DW Pose Estimator looks, we can add a preview image node. Now that's what my extracted pose image looks like. Let's delete this node and connect the image output of DW Pose Estimator to the image input of Apply Control Net. Next, make a connection from load VAE to the input VAE of Apply Control Net. Then let's unmute K sampler. Okay, now we need to change the values of apply control net. For strength, I am going to use 0.6. For most of the time that value works for me, you can try other values, for example, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 0 0.8. Just play with these settings, okay? Then we need to adjust the value of the N%. 
I am going to use 0.4. Just remember too much can affect the quality of the generated image. Now let's move on to the prompt. The image from which we are extracting the pose is about a woman jogging. Let's add similar text to our prompt. I already have some text on my notepad. I will copy and paste it into the positive prompt. Now we can start generating our image by clicking the run buttons. However, before doing so, I am going to add another node to compare the generated image with the image we are using for pose extraction. The node I am going to use is the image comparer. This node is part of the RG3 Comfy Custom Node Pack, although it is not strictly necessary for this workflow. Regardless, let's add it. Connect the image output of the load image node to the image underscore A, input of the image comparer node. Then, connect the image output of the VAE decode node to the image underscore B input of the image comparer node. After that, let's run the workflow to see the results. The image generation is finished. As you can see here, Control Net has done a good job. Additionally, using the image comparer node, we can see how similar both poses look. Moving on, we can increase the steps for improving the quality of image generation. As I said before, play with the values of apply control net to see how the image generation will look with different values. From some tests I've done, I think the control net isn't 100% perfect. However, most of the time it will give you good results. Now, what if your image has more than one person? How can you select a specific pose from that image to use with control net? Let's explore this. First, let's open an image containing multiple people. Then right-click on that image. A drop-down menu will appear. Click on Open in Mask Editor. After opening the Mask Editor, use the brush tool to paint around the subject whose pose you want to extract. Next, invert the mask by clicking the Invert button. After that, save the mask. Next, add a node called Join Image with Alpha. Then connect the image output of the Load Image node to the image input of the Join Image with Alpha node. Next, connect the mask output of the load image node to the alpha input of the join image with alpha node. After that, connect the image output of the join image with alpha node to the input of the image resize node. Let's mute the case sampler node and then add a preview image node to the DW pose estimator. Finally, click the run button to see how the extracted pose image looks. There we go, we have successfully extracted a pose from an image containing multiple people. Now we can start using the pose image with control net. I won't waste any more of your time. And that's it guys, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.